wrestling fans and welcome to another edition of the Supla. I don't know why I'm wearing headphones because I'm the only one here today. Ah, yeah, Andy Kavano with me is no one. Um, Samuel, uh, he is currently uh, under the weather and uh, we hope he gets well soon. So this is me flying solo for this week's episode. May God help us all. There's only really one thing to talk about, really, and that is MGF. Um, he did a shoot promo on AEW Dynamite uh, last night, and the whole world is talking about it. So guess what? I'm going to join in. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Maxwell Jacob Freeman caught a shoot promo on uh, AEW um, on himself during the tenure of All Elite Wrestling, how he's carried the company on his back, cuts a shoot promo on Tony Khan and the company, ex-WWE people that keep coming in, genuinely just airing his grievances. So, if I'm not going to go into it into any great detail, because if you haven't seen it, I would recommend watching it. And preferably the uncensored version, which was uh, aired on Fight, rather than what I can only presume will be censored on ITV television in this country. Um, I believe it was censored on uh, TBS, um, TSN in Canada, and wherever the hell else this thing broadcasts. So, in terms of the actual, the aftermath of it all, I don't know what the plan is, um... And this kind of all stemmed from the past couple of weeks where where, uh, rumour has it that MJF has had a few issues with AEW management, with Tony Khan, and keeps hinting at 2024 where his contract will uh, expire. This basically all started on an episode of um, Ariel Hawani's uh, MMA Hour. I don't know why he was on the MMA Hour, but whatever's. And he basically discussed uh, potentially joining WWE, um, the fact that his contract comes to an end in 2024, back in Bordeaux, that kind of thing. And it's kind of stemmed from that onwards. So I think that uh, interview was about a month or two ago now, and it's kind of just snowballed to the episode of Dynamite this past week. So... As I sit here, I mean, the promo itself was uh, executed extremely well. I mean, it's Maxwood, 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 Jacob Freeman. Um, he is an extremely charismatic human being, so clearly this was always going to be a um, a good promo in terms of delivery. But I don't know some of the content. I think, uh, I mean, there was a lot of swear words and such. So it definitely was. If it, if it's a, if it's a shoot, it's it's a shoot shoot or a work shoot or a War pistol shoot, I don't know. But the point is, the promo was well executed, but I think some of the content, I don't know, it it feels very pipe bomby esque but some of the content, I think, will probably hurt AEW in the long run, I suppose. If you keep saying this company is crap and you keep hiring ex-WWE people, You're highlighting the flaws of the company, and I don't think that's a good idea long term. Because clearly this promo was designed to be a heel promo, but the issue is the fans were actually cheering by the end of it. It's exactly what happened with Punk. Um, That that pipe bomb promo with, with Punk was supposed to be a heel promo, and everybody cheers. So, I'm thinking that it's probably going to be another this should have been a heel promo oh look now he's a massive baby face um and that's probably not what they what they want to get out of it i don't know who knows the other the only other question i have is what is the end game of this all what is the point um like keep he kept mentioning tony khan and i'm like right so is tony khan gonna be on screen because that's the one thing tony khan said he'd never do He's appear on television, and um, I don't want to see it. I, I, I cringe at his um, after-show interviews. I mean, the thing that he did with Punk. I th- no, I, I can't. Um, and it's weird, because AEW doesn't really have like an authority figure, per se. It's always like, Tony Khan does this, but you never see him. Um, it, he's very rarely on television. I don't want to see Tony Khan on TV. I really don't. Um... But where else is this going? I don't know. 
We're apparently joined the commercial break um, when uh, MJF's uh, mic was cut. Apparently CM Punk comes out and runs off MJF. So maybe that's where they're going with it. Maybe it's going to be like a, a Summer of Punk world title sort of run minus leaving the company or I don't know. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. I don't I don't understand where they could possibly go with this. I mean, it, if you're feuding with Punk, then is Punk then the heel? Because he's the ex-WWE guy that keeps fucking up moves. I don't know. Uh, it, it's it's very strange. I don't quite understand where they're going with it. But if the, if the aim is to make MJF a major star, they got to keep the momentum going. And a lot of the stuff that MJF was saying, I think probably it will harm AEW in the long run. It was very much a Jim Cornetti circle jerky kind of promo in a way. Like, oh, they all land on their head and, and, and they do flips and shit. So I don't know. I, I The only thing that I can imagine, judging from this promo, is they're going to put Tony Khan in there in the mix and I don't want that. They're trying to make MJF a major heel. I feel like that's failed. I mean, the promo itself was good and intriguing, but if you keep saying this company is shit enough times, then the company will become shit. It's a it's a bit like with with WCW when the NWO would just keep and keep taking the piss out of WCW. Go well, I guess WCW is shit. It's the same thing with with the pipe bomb promo that Punk did. He's like, WWE's shit. Well, okay, there you go. It's clearly shit then. So, I don't know. I don't see what good this is going to do. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I I think the promo uh, short-term is intriguing. Long-term could be quite damaging, depending on where they go next. The other thing as well is they do this major angle that's been building up for, what, a year, two years with Wardlow... And MJF just comes out and he's just like, hello, well, I'm in pain. And then just continues his promo. Like, they couldn't keep him off television for a week or two. And then, like, MJF gets completely buried. Wardlow gets cheered to a a, a ruckus uh, T-Mobile arena. And then the next thing you get Wardlow doing is feuding with smart Mark Sterling and is taking him to court. (laughs) What? What a load of, what a load of shite. What what a, you know what, Bill Goldberg, you know what we'll do? We'll have you feud with Sonny Ono. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. What the, what the hell? Stupid. Yeah, and and then MJF (laughs) got completely annihilated is now the the bigger star of the two. How does that make any sense? How is that good? I don't I don't get it. Um I think they've I think they've massively messed up Wardlow now. I don't I'm not saying give the world title to Wardlow or anything, but put him in there with somebody else except for a, a manager that's called Smart Mark Sterling for Christ's sake. But overall, Dynamite was good. Um, I do wonder where they're going with a lot of these these, these storylines and such, with Forbidden Door coming up. Uh, the only other thing of, uh, of major note would be uh, Blood and Guts is taking place uh, at the end of this month, and uh, Tanahashi is going against CM Punk at Forbidden Door. Yeah, okay, grand. I mean... I don't know who the uh, New Japan World Champion is at the moment, so... Forgive me, Sam, but wouldn't it make more sense to put that person in there with... Tanah- I'm going to look this up before I look like a fucking idiot, and Sam's going to be like, Hello, well, you're a dumbass! Who is the New Japan Pro Wrestling IWGP Heavyweight Champion? According to Wikipedia, yes. the IWGP Heavyweight Championship was a professional wrestling world heavyweight championship owned by the New Japan Pro Wrestling Promotion. IWGP is the acronym of NJPW's oh, governing body, the International hell. Wrestling Grand Prix. Oh, the God. title was introduced on June 12, 1987, no, I don't, in the don't... final of an IWGP tournament. After all that, you don't tell me... Oh, I hate Google. Okay, since this is... And with me, as always, is Google. Google, who is the champion of New Japan Pro Wrestling? Sorry. I don't understand. You don't understand anything. Else. Do you 
to know how many titles does New Japan Pro Wrestling have? No. No, I don't. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Oopsie daisy? Oopsie fecking daisy. Anyway, so I'm going to look this up on my phone instead. You know what, Sam? If you keep this in, this is comedy gold. Okada, I thought it was. Why don't you stick Okada in there with punk? Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Whatever. So, uh, overall, I mean, as much as I'm complaining, it's because I'm, like, nitpicking at stuff. But um, I don't know where this MJF thing is going. Um, I think it's... I don't want Tony Khan involved. But inevitably, if you keep taking the piss out of AEW and management, and you don't have any authority figures, that's what's going to happen. That's my prediction. Tony Khan will be on screen. But he'll probably take a move in the ring, which is really dumb, because I don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that, but there you go. So, that has been a very short edition of the Supla. Um, I've been with Google. Uh, my cat is currently lying on a windowsill. It's very hot. It's too hot. Milk was a bad choice. Uh, get well soon, Samuel. And uh, we'll see you soon on another edition of the Supla. Ah, yeah, buddy, Um I need to do plugs. This is where Sam does the plugs. I better do that now. Okay, plugs. Go to... Um, Linktree.com slash the Supla, you'll find magical links on our magic link tree, magical branches linking to all of the stuff that we do, including merchandise, our gaming channels, um, what else is it? It was Supla Brawl, go watch that. Um, there's other things as well on the magic link tree. All you need to do is go to our magic tree. It's a magic tree on the internet. Linktree.com slash the Supla. Sam's gonna love this. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for, for joining us on this edi- very brief edition of the Supla. Have I been doing this since I was 16? I, I, I don't understand. I, I, this is why I can't do this on my own. Is the music still playing, Sam? I don't know. I can't hear music. So. <laughs>